the new nickel use is stainless steel, but also the electric vehicle boom. So the electric vehicles have a battery that uses nickel to extend its range. Our goal is to produce green nickel to be used for the electric vehicle industry. President Biden has announced $2.8 billion of the massive infrastructure bill will be used in part to ramp up battery production for electric vehicles at 20 companies across America, including Minnesota and North Dakota. $114 million is going to Talon Metals, which mines nickel in Tamarack, Minnesota, that will be shipped to a new ore processing plant in Mercer County, North Dakota. Stanton is the county seat. Where in the heck is it written that we can't be the manufacturing hub of the world? Well, we are now, and that's what we're going to be announcing and talking about today. It's about my industrial strategy to bring America back manufacturing and industries and of the future, semiconductors and clean energy. That includes the bipartisan infrastructure law that I signed, and it was a once-in-generation investment in our nation's roads, bridges, railroads, ports, airports, water systems, and high-speed internet. Federal infrastructure funding is helping states and cities with these projects all across the country. But the infrastructure law also invests in people and companies that are going to build our future, like electric vehicles and advanced batteries that are going to power those vehicles. This is critically important because the future of vehicles is electric. But the battery is a key part of that electric vehicle. And right now, 75%, as the folks on the screen can tell you, 75% of that battery manufacturing is done in China. And that's why today I'm proud to announce $2.8 billion in awards to 20 companies represented on this screen across 12 states funded by the infrastructure law to build electric vehicles in the battery future here in America. Nearly 200 companies applied for these grants. Only 20 were selected, from Georgia to North Carolina to Nevada to the state of Washington. We have awarded these, this funding 